Hey, this is Scott of DarkVBonsai.com. Today I'm going to talk about aperture. Aperture is the opening inside your lens that is variable. That means that it can be larger or smaller to let more or less light inside. It also has other effects, such as it's called depth of field. It's basically the area of sharpness in your photograph. If you've seen photos where, like a portrait photo, where the person is very sharp but the background is blurred, that's due to a thin depth of field. You accomplish that through various means, but the primary one is through the aperture. So you have a very large aperture. However, by large I mean a physically larger opening in your lens. However, that corresponds to a small number. For example, I have a 85mm f1.4 lens, so the largest aperture this has is f1.4. The smallest is f22. This lens specifically allows for manual control of the aperture. Newer lenses do not have that, depending on the brand features that lens has, but those are controlled in the camera body instead of on the lens. This one can also do both, so as I was saying, it's got f1.4 as large as aperture. It's basically completely open, wide open f1.4. So we stopped on the lens, aperture gets smaller and smaller, all the way to f22. You can see it's kind of like a pinprick opening inside through the aperture blades, it has multiple blades inside that make the opening smaller or larger. As I was saying, the main concept of that is the depth of field. When you have a small aperture, at like f22, you have a very large depth of field. So in your photograph, things in the foreground and background are about as sharp as where your subject is. Your focal point is located. But as you make that aperture larger and larger, the depth of field gets thinner and thinner. That's how you accomplish that special effect with the subject, highly in focus, background is blurred out. And as you have the aperture larger and larger, you can manage with less light. So that's the secondary or primary benefit, depending on how you feel, which one is more important to you. It's the low light gathering capabilities of the larger aperture, or the depth of field capabilities of that larger aperture. Those are the basics of aperture. Thanks.